Good day to all of us and welcome to PS4, the what and how of learning management system interface for computers. Well, at the end of this learning chunk, you are expected to familiarize the model-based LMS interface for computers, understand how the elements including resources and activities in the platform can be used for educational purposes, and use this platform in accomplishing the desired intended learning outcomes. But what is LMS? LMS actually stands for Learning Management System and it is a program that creates one online portal where teachers, students, and parents can connect, collect, collaborate, and create. Moodle will be used as the LMS for this semester in the University of Eastern Philippines. Thus, all your subject readings and requirements will be in the LMS and access can be done using your desktop, laptop, tablet, or even your mobile phone. What is Moodle? Moodle stands for Modular Object-Oriented Dynamic Learning Environment founded and developed by Martin Dubyamas in 2002. Moodle was designed to provide educators, administrators, and learners with an open, robust, secure, and free platform to create and deliver personalized learning environments. And so, what gadgets will be used for Moodle? You may use desktop computer or laptop computer. And how to open the Moodle? Well, you can actually access the Moodle through Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Enter Explorer, and Safari. Chrome, or simply Google Chrome, is a cross-platform web browser actually developed by Google. Mozilla Firefox, or simply Firefox, is a free and open source web browser developed by the Mozilla Foundation and its subsidiary, the Mozilla Corporation. In Turret Explorer, it is a series of graphical web browsers developed by Microsoft Windows line of operating system is starting in 1995. And Safari, it is a graphical web browser developed by Apple based on the WebKit engine. It is the default browser on Apple devices. Can I have a little favor? Like, can we do Moodle together? Well, can we open your desktop computer or laptop, whichever is available? Can we now begin? Select the browser, say for example, Google Chrome, then type the web address, ueplms.modelcloud.com. This icon is the toggle notification menu, and next to it is the toggle messaging drawer then your account profile. Here, you select the subject to open. When you open it, you'll see clearly the subject name. Then, you'll also see the navigation tab. Common features include the dashboard for site pages and of course, your courses. Well, under the site pages are site blogs, site badges, tags, and calendar. As you click My Courses, the subjects you've enrolled will appear. 
And when you click a subject, you can also navigate through the subject's competencies, all the readings and assessment activities, and even assignments per chapter. Just take note, however, that your instructor may use different resources just to maximize your learning. Well, a page displays its content online within the Moodle. There, you'll see the course syllabus. You can even keep reading and be reading that. A file resource enables you to actually download the file. Try to look at this. Yes, it's been successfully downloaded. Then let's go back to the page display. A folder resource actually displays a number of related files inside a single folder reducing scrolling on the course page. These are now the related files contained in a folder. You can open them one by one. You may even download the folder. Resources are not a problem as it can also be found here. Just press this and there you'll navigate the book resource. And the book resource is actually a collection of related pages displayed in a book-like format. A URL module provides a web link as a course resource. The calendar tool is one important feature as it displays your previous and coming events and reminders. Just check on this from time to time so you'll be fully guided. The events key would actually help you contact your instructor and classmates. The message tool enables you to connect to your instructor and classmates. The notification bar alerts you for upcoming activities and new messages. The question now is how to post and reply in discussion forum. Say for example, you want to add a discussion topic. You may just enter a descriptive title and the information of your post, then click post to forum button. It goes like this. You type your intent here then, do not forget to post to forum. But, how it is to turn in my documents in an assignment? You have to click this to access the assignment link on the course homepage. Here, you will see your instructor's direction for the assignment. And here, you'll know your submission status and the submission comment. Just click the Add or Edit Submission button to add or modify a file assignment. Now, how to take a quiz using Moodle. 
Simply select the quiz from the course homepage. This page will display the information about the quiz or exam. Click the Start Attempt button to begin the quiz and to start the timer. Be reminded that for time quizzes, you must be able to finish the quiz within the allotted time. On this side, you will see the number of items. And here is the timer. Just read the question, then just select your answer. And select Next for the upcoming items. Click Submit All and Finish button to submit your attempt for scoring. Here, you can see the summary result of your quiz. Click this for other activities or resources in Moodle. To log out to Moodle, go to Account Setting, then select Log Out. This is it! Moodle is our new life together. Thank you for listening and welcome to your new home, the University of Eastern Philippines.